Hey guys, welcome to a weekend in my life in Cape Town. So a couple of friends and I did the Franschhoek wine tram. So Franschhoek is a small town in the western province in South Africa. And it's approximately an hour and a half or hour and 15 minutes away from Cape Town. So if you are planning to go to Franschhoek and to do the wine tram like I did, you probably would like to leave like two hours in advance or at least one hour and 30 minutes in advance so we left like one hour and 30 minutes to our time that our tram was leaving and we were a bit late um so it's pretty easy to book tickets for the franchuk wine tram um, basically you just go on the website you search French hook wine tramps and there's even like an intro video of like what it's like to visit the different wine farms um, what you do when you get to the wine tram and it's so interesting I loved French hook so much it's like a beautiful town it's very um, aesthetically pleasing and it's just so serene right and once you get on to the website, you can view the different wine farms, the dining experiences, and you can also purchase some tickets there. So what we did, um, we did, uh, we booked the blue line and, um, we also research the different wine farms on the blue line that we would like to visit so there are many different lines yellow red um, green you know it all depends on which wine farms um, you're interested in and once you get onto the different um, lines you know then you can also view like the different description of the wine farms and all the interesting bits so yeah as you can see there like we did the blue line so that's why i recorded the blue line for you guys and there's like the times you're supposed to be there the cost um like so here it's like 280 per person and i i believe depending on the season the tickets change so if you feel like you're gonna go like on high peak season you better book your tickets in advance so um it's always best to book online in advance you know and not to go buy tickets there so that you can make sure um you you'll have space because franchuk is quite a distance from um, cape town especially if you're just going to cape town right but if you're going to franchuk yourself then you can take that risk but i wouldn't take that risk so you can see like what's included what is excluded and you know the best part is like you can go with your whole family or just a group of friends <laughs> Some Chardonnay, some rosé, some red blends as well. 
their wands. They have got also nothing but good exceptional wands. They do have red ones and white ones as well. For my guests celebrating love, life or marriage, you are in for a treat. They've also got some MCC. They do pair their wives. They do also do parry on the canopies and tapas as well. <laughs> This is the lightest. <laughs> that's the lightest. That's like drinking water. Yes, it's I mean, this is good. Okay, that's, that's my favorite. So now on the red, on the left, you've got the Little Rock Rouge. So the Rouge is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Mountain Oak. Um, the soda has got more of your chocolate flavors. There's also some bits of coming through. And the alcohol percentage is 13.5. Okay. So this one is... Uh, so Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and also Silk. Oh, all so mixed together. Gotcha. The one now in the middle is going to be our 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. That's heavy. So the Cabernet Sauvignon is slightly heavier than the first one that you tasted. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, yo. <laughs> okay. Um, so this one was wooded for a period of 18 years of drinking. Uh, I also experienced okay. wine tasting. Yeah, it's been great. And I got to try a lot of things so that I haven't tried here. This is beautiful. This is not a Sauvignon Blanc. This is a Sauvignon Blanc that comes in so many different regions. So um, the and there's so much more variety and here, the it seems. Uh, uh, and obviously there's different tastes uh, that's so unique to this region. So it's, it's nice. It's been a great experience so far. Looking forward to the rest of the day. So Compromise was established in 1694. The farm was given to the gentleman named Pierre Hubert. Today, it's known for the accurate wine, where you get a lot of wine. Oh. Yeah, so we have to get onto this little tractor thing. It's so cute. Okay, to get to so the from the itself. train, we're gonna go on to the tractor train. So the tractor train. Which side are we going? Oh. Are we going on here? Yeah. You guys can go ahead. You go ahead. Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> Choo choo train, choo choo train. Can we ask? You knew it was about business when you hear this, right? Yeah. So I'm if it's for four, four is the one going back, four thirty is the one continuing, right? Yeah, so four... So we just go to the one that's four thirty, because that way we can get back to... So we go here, four... Wait, 
Um, maybe you can talk about your experience, like the wine so tram. Um, it's nice because it you have access to all these different wineries, mm. and some of them are like hidden gems, especially. Okay. That have really nice variety, great food, yeah. nice For views. me, tops of the food. Everything was so spot on. The flavors, the portions, not too small, not too big. Just like it. Mm -hmm. I think, what is it? Mon Rochelle mm -hmm. had the best views mm -hmm. in terms of aesthetic, it was the prettiest. Uh, uh, Atlas Swift had the best wines in terms of quality. Grand Provence definitely I think had a good combination it had the best food and, best and I wine. think wines were also really really good and if you're like an yes. art person you will oh, definitely love, love Provence. the gallery yes. so I think beautiful gardens right. and nice ground. the blue line is I think it's a great choice to pick from mm -hmm. so. um, did you get to go to all the wine farms no, no. Okay. This, it's not possible to do all the wine farms no, you'll have sorry. to narrow down as to exactly what you're looking for like we got here at 12 and so we had to narrow down to at least four but we only managed to do three still mm -hmm. so i think you get caught up obviously because there's so much to see um really just do your research you know and mm -hmm. figure out which ones you want to do alex and i really research it as much as we can and to I'm narrow so them down so and i think we're very content with our picks <laughs> really so like but the blue line is definitely a great choice i don't think yes. you'll be disappointed with whichever ones you farms you end up on i think you'll still like it so, so that's, that's blue and we bought and a whole lot of wines to go <laughs> so the wine literally has like two boxes a cases or two so uh, okay so it's there's blue red and green no there's like i think like seven or eight lines oh. yeah like once you check on they kind of just see which ones you'd like but we specifically picked this because um i wanted to do picasso because it's a wine from the way the pigs paint yeah. the the paintings that they put on the on the wine bottles but we didn't get to do that we'll do it sometime next year yeah. hopefully um but yeah it's a hard choice but either way it's a beautiful region so beautiful region very very beautiful. picturesque very nice lighting for a great picture <laughs> yes instagram <laughs> is dream nice. very nice very nice <laughs>